In this lesson, you will learn about measuring volume. You have already looked at measuring area and perimeter and length, and now you're going to do volume, which is um, the amount of space inside of a 3D object. And so we're going to go through the slides together. So first of all, we need to know about a centimeter cube. Um, and so if you've ever seen those little cubes that are like this big and they're colorful um, at school, uh, that is a centimeter cube and it has a volume of one cubic centimeter. Um, and if you can see right here where my mouse is, um, it's one centimeter high, one centimeter long and one centimeter deep. And that makes it one centimeter cubed. That's how we say this. We don't say one centimeter three, we say one centimeter cubed. Okay, so let's look at some examples. This box holds four rows of six cubes or 24 cubes. The volume of this box is 24 cubic centimeters or 24 cubic centimeters or yeah, 24 centimeters cubed, we would say there. This box holds two layers of cubes. There are four, two rows of four cubes or eight cubes in each layer. So the volume of this box is 16 cubic centimeters or 16 centimeters cubed. So you can see the top layer and then you need to rely on the information here to know um, that there's more than one layer. And the last one here, the volume of an object is also the space it occupies. This object has eight cubes on the bottom layer and three cubes on the top layer. The volume of this object is 11 cubic centimeters or 11 centimeters cubed. All right, and then moving on to, cent to meter cube. So we measure meters in a very similar fashion that we measure centimeters. They're just like way bigger. Um, and so a meter cube has a volume of one cubic meter. Um, and so remember a meter is like, I don't know if you can see my hands, but it's like this big. <laughs> and then so like a big box. So think like a big like TV box maybe or um, a moving box. That is that one meter cubed compared to a little centimeter cubed. Okay, so there are 1,000 cubic centimeters, so those little colorful things in one cubic meter. So you can fit a thousand of those inside, layer upon layer. <laughs> um, just to give you an idea, um, if you've ever seen a square hay bale, so this stack of hay bales has bales with edge lengths of one meter. There are two layers of six bales or 12 bales. So the stack has a volume of 12 meters cubed because there's 12 of them and they're each a meter by a meter by a meter. This wooden crate has a volume of one meter cubed. You need to know that for the next part here um, because six of these crates can fit in the back of this pickup truck. The back of the truck has a volume of six meters cubed because we can fit six of them in there. You catching on? All right, so here's an example. We've got two here, it's pretty simple, but um, if you have little blocks, even if they're bigger blocks, doesn't matter if you have like square cubes, use that. I've got a website in the assignment that you can use um, or you could do this on Minecraft. You could toggle back and forth with Minecraft in this, but anyways, um, you're gonna find the volume of each cube um, and maybe you don't even need to build it. Some people uh, can imagine it well, but um, it's good to build at least a couple. Um, but yeah, so this is the first layer. It has one, two, three, four, five, six there. And then you can see that there's two layers deep in it. It's helpful that these are colorful. So the area is 12 centimeters cubed because we've got six layers in the front and six layers, or six cubes in the front, and six cubes in the back, making it have 12 cubes. Um, the second one has 16 cubes and it's one layer deep. There's not a second layer. So that means the area is 16 centimeters cubed for that one. This one is built with one meter cubes. So these is like the big suckers. Like this is a really big, <laughs> this is really big. Um, find the volume of each prism. We do the exact same thing though. Um, we just have to put a different um, unit after. So we've got eight cubes at the front, meter cubes at the front. And how many layers are there? There's one, two, three layers if you look on the side. So that means that our area is 24 meters cubed because eight plus eight is 16 plus another eight is 24. Um, another way to look at it is this. So um, if you look at how many um, high, we've got two meters high and then four meters wide and then three meters deep. And what you can do is you can multiply all three of those numbers together. Just go one number at a time, like two times eight and then, and then that's, I mean, two times four and then that's eight and then eight times three, which is 24. 
um, you can do that. And then, so the area is 24 meters cubed. Notice that's the same answer as when we just counted these, but it's another way of looking at it. And then the last example, make, make well, we, you would make the objects with centimeter cubes. I just don't have any at my house. Um, I'll make a separate video for how to use the um, website though, but find each volume. So we're looking at this, this is centimeters. Um, and so we just look at the front layer again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at the front. And then we see how many it goes back. It goes back four layers. And we just assume that it's all the same um, as the front. And then so four times seven is 28, or you can skip count seven, 14, 21, 28. And that makes the area 28 centimeters cubed. And so, yeah, that is the basics of how to um, do this lesson and if you play minecraft you're probably gonna have a pretty easy time with this um but yeah have fun with it and uh see you soon